Hey, what's up? It's Gene Clark, and I'm back with you again today with another Disney book, but sadly, it's not working today. We're going to just do this one from the car, but I am rocking some Disney gear with me. Today's book I want to talk to you all about is Creating Magic by Lee Cockrell. I believe I am saying that correct. C-O-C-K-E-R-E-L-L. -L. If I'm mispronouncing it, I have tried looking on the internet and I can't find anybody that's pronouncing it the same way twice. But uh, anyway, this book, really, really great. Lee uh, was an integral part of Disney for years and years. Uh, very, very high up on their leadership team and helped create a, a, an amazing culture that they have at their company. The book itself, um, I want to talk about one of his kind of 10 leadership strategies he discusses in the book. Uh, a couple of things. Sometimes in the book, uh, it does feel like Lee might be getting a little braggadocious, but when you hear all the things he's accomplished over the years, I don't think it's so much he's trying to brag on, say, oh, I did this, I did that. More, he's trying to uh, establish his expertise so you understand where he's coming from and why he is in a position of authority to talk about these topics. Uh, the funniest part of this book to me, when I started reading it, it was right at the beginning of this year, 2021, and Disney came out in the middle of me reading this book and announced how their Magical Express service that picked up guests from Orlando International Airport, Airport and would take them to Walt Disney World. They were canceling that service at the end of this year. This would be the last year they would offer that service. Well, in the book that I'm reading, Lee is talking about how this is a revolutionary service. This is a game changer. Parents love it. It is something nobody's ever done. And it, it was just very interesting, the timing and how important. I think it was a full chapter basically talked about that one service on and on back and forth. So that was just a little bit of craziness, um, real life meeting the book in that moment that I thought was funny that I wanted to talk about. The real reason you're here, my big takeaway from the book that I wanted to share with all of you is strategy number seven. It comes from chapter number nine, and it is the R strategy. That is R-A-R-E, and it stands for appreciation, recognition, and encouragement. And let's talk about when you're in a leadership role and you are wanting to really make those that um, you're leading feel great and feel you want them to feel appreciated you want them to uh, feel that you recognize them and that you are giving them the recognition they deserve that they've earned and you want to encourage them this is going to make them feel great about you as a leader follow you all the way any day every day is going to make them feel great about the company they work for or the organization they're a part of, it's going to make them um, be more loyal in whatever area it is. And I thought this was really great because not only can it work in the business world, but it can work in life as well. It can work in the family setting. It can work with friends. It can work with nonprofits. It can work with uh, sports teams. It can work with anything. If you are constantly appreciating, recognizing, and encouraging those around you, you are going to build a great relationship with those people. And if you are trying to lead them or you're just trying to grow that relationship, those three things right there are a great way to just kind of go deeper and go to the next level in that relationship. And those people are always going to remember you, always going to appreciate you, always recognize you, always encourage you as well because they know how important it is to them. And uh, Lee gives a couple of examples of people that it was just, you know, a passing moment necessarily, uh, not necessarily anything big for him, just a, a little thing that he wanted to do for somebody. Maybe it was write a letter, maybe it was attend a uh, an event that that person was holding or throwing. And... It, 
needless to say, years later, he would visit those people and they would talk about, oh, remember that time you came to my kid's birthday party? Or you remember that time you wrote a letter to me thanking me? Well, I've, I've had it on my refrigerator ever since then. So the little things we can do can go a long way. And that's why the R method is so great. Strategy number seven from Creating Magic uh, is chapter nine. Check it out. Go read the book. And uh, hey, we can't be at Disney all the time, but I still hope you all have a magical day.